Today we're going to be showing you how to replace the green spring with the gray spring using inch and eighth wrench. Crack your jam nut loose. Using an inch and eighth impact, go back it all the way out. Grabbing an inch and a sixteenth, you hold it. take off all four nuts on top. Move the washer, the nut, you can leave the spacer in there. You'll remove the last one, and the carriage will lift up. Press down to get it off. And then lift up. Lift up. Just back. You'll be enough room. Just then get your spring in. Drop it down, make sure the slots line up with the spacers in there, and reinstall all four, along with new nuts. Tighten down, you want to make sure the front carriage is as far forward as it can be. You can use, do that with a block of wood and a hammer and tap it until it stops moving. Now grab your tension bolt. You notice it's got a turn down end there, which the retainer fits right in there. So we'll first thread the bolt in. This all starts to poke through. Make sure it springs all the way in. There's not a lot of room here, so you may have to sneak them on there. You'll have to sneak the lock nut on first. And next comes the retainer. You want to make sure you get the turned down portion of the bolt in the small hole of the retainer. There it is. Tighten it up by hand. You want to turn your jam nut on a little bit. There we go. Once that's started, take a little WD-40 or something similar. Just spray the threads a little bit. Retainer where the friction will be. You'll take your inch and eighth impact, and you'll tighten her up. You're going to want to measure from the edge of the black box to the edge of the gray spring, just where the gray spring hits the retainer. 
You want two and three eggs. Tension is set at two and three eighths. You take your inch and eighth wrench, tighten up the jam nut. Tension after a few hours of running to verify the tension is still at two and three eighths.